Hi guys, so it's Monday morning. Well, what time is it actually? Yeah, it's still morning. It's 11.15. My husband has off today because of Super Bowl. The whole company took off because they just didn't want anybody showing up um, drunk from the night before or hungover, whatever the case is. I was surprised my daughter's school um, didn't have a delayed opening or at the very least, or closed or had a delayed opening. She went in this morning Um So I wanted to show you the three books that I am reading or I have pulled out. This is what I am reading currently. And then I wanted to show you some few things that I picked up at Walmart. Um, this is what I'm reading. I don't want to pronounce it because um, first of all, the cover is stunning. Cover is what did me in. Um, it is like a horror fantasy. Um, I'm not going to pronounce it because, but I will link it for you because I don't want to uh, be offensive, but this is really, really nice. Um, so far, I like it. Don't have any horror elements, but I'm only like 70 pages in. Then I picked up this by accident, realize, not realizing until I got home, Point of Retreat from Colleen Hoover, that it's the second book. So I ordered this on Amazon, which I haven't done in a while. I got slammed by Colleen um, Hoover, but then I realized I'm reading this and I'm like, I don't know, 33 pages in from the other night. And I'm like, wow, this is like kind of childish. Is this like a young, like a real young adult, almost like a teen? And it does say young and new adult. So I'm going to keep reading it. If you've read those, let me know if this uh, duology is good. But so far they're like really, really immature, like even for me. And I love that type of book. Um, I also picked up, um, I have this one that I have pulled down from my collection. I'm going to start after I've read a few of these books, A Touch of Darkness by Scarlet St. Clair. This is, um, I believe like a myth, like mythological fantasy, which I enjoy. And then I picked this up from my library, November 9 from Colleen Hoover. Hopefully this one's a little more adult. So I'm going to go upstairs and show you the nails that I got and the lip gloss and the new body wash because it's a brand new body wash. Um, and it is so good and it's, oh, excuse me, hiccup, super duper affordable. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I wanted to show you the few things that I picked up at Walmart. So I went with this. It's the new Suave um, Mango Citrus and I got my daughter the Cocoa Butter one. Now, I don't know if it's just an improvement on like their original but these are great and I know with sometimes you get iffy about cheaper body washes this was $2.88 super affordable and I think you should try it if you're on a budget it made me feel super duper clean it sudded suds up really well and I didn't need a lot to feel super clean lately I've been enjoying cleaning with a gel formula and then going in with something more moisturizing it makes me feel cleaner and I cut down on how much soap I've been using I really enjoy this, so I double cleanse with this, and then I go in with a more moisturizing. Guys, if you see this, pick it up. You're gonna love it. The scent lingers, and I feel like this is gonna be my definite go-to this summer. Um, the packaging on Dove is new. It's more sleek, I really enjoy it. This is the oatmeal and rice milk. I don't love the scent of this, but I don't like vanilla, and I didn't realize at the time how vanilla-y it is. Um, the oatmeal, definitely makes you feel super du duper moisturized and um, lingers and smells nice. I do use these scents together because this one is so light and I don't mind. So I go in and really, really clean well. I could do a hygiene routine. I know I've done a few, um, but I know that there's just new tips and tricks that you just learn every day. And like it, it's sad and amazes me how often even adults, um, we're just never properly shown how to clean and it's just sad because it's something that I have always been very um, vocal and how important it is to keep your body clean and showing my daughters, not showing them per se, but like really explaining the best ways to keep yourself clean and dry, especially being plus size. The most important thing you can do is keep your body dry. Um, if you know what I mean, it is awful and you can get rashes and you can get like dermatitis and candesis yeast. It's horrible. I think candesis, if that's how you say it, and yeast is around the same thing. And I have struggled with that for the beginning of my adult life terribly. I had shingles, everything. I know shingles has nothing to do with cleaning yourself, but 
I definitely could do a updated hygiene routine for you guys. Um, I know sometimes people think it's silly and like a no brainer, but there are people out there that it's very difficult for them to keep odor at bay. And sometimes it's not even something they're doing. Sometimes they definitely need to get checked by their doctor. It can be um, just a long-term yeast infection because you can get yeast all over your body. It's not just in your private area. Anywhere moisture is trapped, you can develop yeast or dermatitis and it's itchy and irritating. And sometimes it has, uh, most times will trap odor, but I really have been loving these. And I just slowly, and I do new tips and things I find on TikTok, I have stopped you uh, to help myself just to smell better and to be cleaner, you know what I mean? It's very important to me to always be clean. I started using a water flosser for better breath and better hygiene in my mouth. Um, I just have learned a lot. I stopped using loofahs and have used only um, washcloths or rags to really exfoliate at the same time as washing. Um, I never make fun of somebody who possibly has odor and you know, you just help people and you be kind and you just like, my daughter and I have always lived with the philosophy and my sisters, every one of us in the family, women, that we will say to you like, hey, maybe you need to take a shower or um, pop a mint. You know, it's hard. It can be very difficult. And some people take very offense to it. And I understand why, because it's a very uh, personal journey that we all get on. Well, that's way too much for a little bit of hygiene. So if you want an updated hygiene routine or just what works for me, um, maybe it will work for you as well. So definitely let me know that and let me get the rest of the stuff that I got from Walmart. One other thing, I'm sorry the lighting's so bad. I wanna show you the razors that I live and swear by. They are so affordable. So you get six razors for right under $8. They're disposable. They're the Equate 5 Blade. Make sure you get the 5 Blade, girls, because anything else literally tears up my leg. These are under $7 or under $8 and you get six of them. Keep them out of the water. When you're done using them, dry them almost and put them on the shelf and it will extend your use because I know how expensive razors can be. I picked up more unscented Dove soap and my deodorant that I've been using. I am looking for an alternative because this does have aluminum, but for right now, this really does keep me dry and from smelling because I don't shave my armpits, whatever. I just don't because I have had such... That's where my shingles were, was under my arm and all over my arm, which is a very strange spot for it. But when I did have shingles, so ever since I had shingles over 10 years ago, I have been very sensitive with my underarms and can't shave. So I might shave twice a year. I don't really care. The hair is covered 90% of the time, except in the summer. Um, so I use this to keep fresh. Now let me go show you the rest of the stuff, the fingernails, the fun stuff, and then I'll show you some of the wax melts that I got that are new and smell incredible. Come on, boys, come with mama. Oh. I'm seeing what my husband was doing. He must be down, is still in the garage. I also have a Sephora package coming in. Not a lot of stuff, but I always just show that in this vlog as well. Um, the first thing I got was this gorgeous milky pink lip gloss. You know, these are my favorite. I always, always have these in my favorites. This one's in stone, but this one is in ice. Look how milky pink that is. Gorgeous, right? Wait till you see these fingernails, you're going to die. So the very first pet, I always get Kiss. They're my favorite. I don't always, oh, excuse me. I don't know why I'm so like hiccupy. I tend to get Kiss a lot more. Did you poop somewhere? Gilly, did you poop somewhere? Did you have an accident in the house? So the very first pair, look at these. They're from the brand Classy. These were $5.98. They're like a modern French. Look how gorgeous these are. They made me drool. These are my next set that I'm going to wear. I have these on from, oh, what the heck's the brand? I can't remember the name, but look how gorgeous these are. But you're not ready. These I'm going to save for a special occasion. These are the gel fantasies from Kiss. Look at these. I mean, I have went to buy these like seven different times and I kept putting them back because they're like eight bucks and I'm trying not to spend on silly frivolous stuff. But I went with my husband and I'm like, I really, really want these. I also got my Valentine's Day gift from him, but I got to go clean up wherever he pooped. And then I'll show you what he got me for Valentine's Day. I don't think I showed it 
here. I think I only showed it on my TikTok, so I'll be right back. Okay, well, I feel like an asshole. I guess he didn't poop. Maybe he farted. So, you guys, wait to- oh, wait, it's in my other closet. Hold on. I took it out of here because my cat has a habit of chewing leather for some reason. Wait till you see how gorgeous this is. And I will link the um, girl's small business down below. I had no idea this was coming. He just surprised me for Valentine's Day. I didn't even know we were exchanging for Valentine's Day because we did such a big Christmas. But wait till you see how gorgeous this is. Look at this. It is stunning. The zipper on it's gorgeous. It's just a Western style... Um, like crossbody tote bag. It is so beautiful. So I will link her shop down below. Isn't that gorgeous? I thought it was super duper pretty. Excuse my hair. My hair is like a mess today. But isn't this gorgeous? I am in love. And it does have a nice big strap. This is even this isn't even the whole size it can be. Um for us plus size girls. Look at the embroidery on that. I mean, it's stunning. It smells so good. I love it. And I love this material. I'm not sure what it is, but I'll link the girl's shop down below. And I will also link my um, TikTok where I talk a little more about it. So I will see you guys when my Sephora package comes. Okay, I wanted to share one more thing. Sorry the lighting's so bad. If you have any questions about that purse, definitely um, feel free to ask me any questions you have. But I wanted to show you the other body wash, the Cocoa Butter and Shea. I'm going to assume this one has much more like moisturize moisturization than the other one that I got and better um, like just uh, not better quality just more moisture than the gel and then i picked these up for my daughter i don't know how they work yet they're new they're from dove and it is for um people with like gray hair she has the shampoo and conditioner why do i smell poop somewhere i swear i smell poop he must not have because i don't see it anywhere i don't know why i smell it but yes my daughter, I picked these up for her. I will update you. Um, they come with shampoo and conditioner. I don't love the smell of it, but she did. Okay, so here are the new warmers that I got. So I got Strawberry Crunch, you guys. This smells so good. I only needed one brick, and it made my bedroom smell like an ice cream shop, and it lasted like three or four days. It is so sweet and so good. Then I picked up Vanilla and Caramel Spice. This one's really, really nice. I know I don't like vanilla, but it's really, really nice. More caramely than vanilla. And it doesn't have like that throw up scent. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Sometimes when you have like chocolate scented things or caramel scented, it can start to smell like throw up. Now this one has replaced every scent that I've gotten so far, including my warm apple pie, included my roasted chestnuts. I know I did a winter warmer like haul and here in the spring i might do another one with spring coming up soon hopefully but you guys wait to use look wait till i tell you the scent of this one it's called amber and rose now if you have to like the scent of rose to like this one so it's so it's citrus berry floral amber wood vanilla sugar cane oh my god I don't smell amber, but it smells like if you had your windows open on a spring day and you had a rose bush under your window and every time the wind blew, you got a whiff of the roses. That's what it smells like. I know that's very specific. Again, it's citrus, berry, floral, amber, wood, vanilla, and sugar cane. If you had like a fresh bouquet of roses out your window and like that wind blew through and I came home, I put it in and we left. And I came back in and we opened the windows because it was so gorgeous here over the weekend. It's actually beautiful out now, but it's just chilly. I was like, oh my God. And I immediately went and bought uh, three more of those. I stocked up on the warm apple pie. These are $1.50 right now. So I got a few, but I'm kind of like nose blind to this now to the point where I think I'm going to have to retire this scent at least for a year because you guys i literally can't even smell it even when i burn multiple of them i just can't smell them anymore this is still one of my top tier the roasted chestnut and acorns 
but with the weather being warmer, I prefer something more floral-y. It's so weird because as I got older, as I'm getting older, I enjoy the smell of like rose and floral scents, which I never did before. I actually hated them. The only smell I literally cannot ever, ever like is lavender. I wish I did, but I hate it. Here's another one that's really nice. My aunt, all my life, my mom and my aunt always loved the smell of lilacs and um, honeysuckle, but especially lilac. This is honeysuckle nectar, and it's... It doesn't say the notes. You guys, my mom, before she died, she had this big bush that would, not bush, but bushes, multiple, and they grew honeysuckles every summer. And we used to go out and eat them. This smells like you are doing that. It smells like my childhood. We used to eat honeysuckles and then pick berries right off the tree, like blackberries, and we never washed them. We just ate them. <laughs> That's probably why my immune system so good, because I used to eat off the ground, I was like a dirty, like, uh, one of those dirty kids that we ate the berries right off the bush before we washed them, the grapes off the vine. My grandparents had vines with grapes. If you love honeysuckle, I'm telling you, this is going to smell like you're living on a North Carolina beach with a big honeysuckle bush outside. You will love that one. I'm trying to see if I have any more floral ones. I do have this one. This one's okay. It's not my favorite. It's called Take a Hike. It's cool water and fresh um, air and pine. This one is like a bathroom scent, if you know what I mean. This smells like the bathroom in a doctor's office. So if you like that scent, you might like this one. I think that's all the flowery ones I have. I think I got rid of the one that I just didn't like. Yeah, I don't think I have any more. This, does this one, oh yeah, let me read you the notes on the vanilla and caramel spice because I love hearing the notes. So this is vanilla, cinnamon, clove, nutmeg, caramel, brown sugar, and toffee notes. Does that sound delicious? This is definitely like a gourmand scent. Yes, it's really, really nice. And I think you would like it if you like more sweet scents. And this does not, the strawberry crunch doesn't have, um... The scents, but trust me when I tell you, you'll love it. I promise. I'm trying to just see if I have any new scents. I think that's everything. Yes. I'm going to start going through because I noticed they're starting to put out their spring scents. That's why I was able to get the amber and um, rose. And the funny thing is that downy detergent that I've been using is amber and rose. They smell identical. That's why I love both of them. I used to swear by Snuggle. Like, I'm telling you right now, I would never use anything but Snuggle. But Snuggle has been thrown out the door for the new Downy Amber and Rose. And that smells so like it. So, so much like it. So, if you like the Amber Rose Downy Fabric Softener, try this. I never tell people to blind buy because I know that some scents can be headache-inducing, can be... Um, nausea inducing can also cause hives. I'm one of those people. I'm telling you, if you love rose, trust me, you'll love this. And if you really enjoy honeysuckle, try this one. Like I said, when they, if you guys would like, definitely let me know when they start coming out with their spring scents, I will start hauling them for you because I'm going to buy them anyway, because I'm a psychotic and my husband said to me, oh my God, like he was joking. He's like, why do you have so many, how many warmers did you buy? And I was like, listen, some women want Louis Vuitton. Some women will drain their husband's bank account dry. Me buying a couple warmers that brings me comfort, you can live with. And he was just joking. We were laughing about it. Um, and um, I was like, it's just something about smelling, probably because my mother was a smoker and I always smelled like cigarettes, and I saw a video that said that can contribute to people being like overly crazy about smelling nice, and I think that has a lot to do with it. Also, the Super Bowl last night, what a lose. Oh, that was awful. The second two halves were horrible, and it's so funny. Have you guys seen the TikToks about the Hulu commercial, or the Tubi commercial? My husband looked at me and said, did you just change the channel? I swear to God, he did it. I said, no, stupid, it's for Tubi. I said, they did exactly what they meant to do. They literally that's what they wanted to happen also and then i will let you go because i want to still show you my sephora stuff if i have to i can show it separately i guess i tried that new soda that new lemon lime soda oh my god 
what's it called? I have one in the fridge. It is so good. I don't know why people don't love it because I love it. It is so spicy. It's so spicy that it almost like <gasps> hurts you. You know what I mean? Sorry. This one, you guys. I am obsessed. My husband had me try it and I went and bought a six pack. I love them so much. So this will be like a treat, but I also love really, really spicy Sprite. So McDonald's is my favorite Sprite. I would walk four miles to get a McDonald's Sprite, but I'm gonna tell you what's a second contender. And I didn't realize till yesterday or the day before, Ch the day before Chick-fil-A Sprite is almost as good as McDonald's. I was shocked. Because lately, when I went and got Sprite at like restaurants, it tastes like chlorine to me. Without a doubt, every time. It always tastes like chlorine. Okay, I've tried it enough. I'm probably going to have to do this now separately. I'm going to have to cut down some of my other clips because this is now going to be way too long of a vlog for today. So I will see you when my Sephora comes and then we'll end this. Okay guys, I put my hair up because it was, it's like hair washing day and it's like that point where it's like, you need it out of your face, you know what I mean? So I put it up in a claw clip. Those little um, baggies with the candy. I also forgot to show these, I got this. I spent $12 to make three little baskets for my daughter and that's the one with the cotton candy was for my daughter because I didn't put chocolates in hers just because the chocolate I had here. Um, her one little girlfriend has been having a hard time at school and has missed a lot of school. And um, she comes from like a really good family, but it just shows you like it doesn't matter like how good your parents try or like your environment. It can just still, you could have everything that you physically could want or like tangible things, but you might still not be able to pull yourself out of a funk. And I hate when people say to teenagers, what could you be depressed about? Well, being a teenager is very, very difficult and people forget, like remember what it's like to be a kid. You know what I mean? It's very difficult and we are growing up, we didn't grow up in an era where everything was put on social media or recorded and we were able to make mistakes and forget about it and say things and it not be recorded. Nowadays, you have to worry about every little thing and I just know she's having a hard time and I thought it would be nice to send little treats in for them tomorrow. Plus they're pretty good friends, but you guys, look what I found at Dollar Tree. Kiss White Nails. I mean, it doesn't come with anything other than the nails, but 24 nails, I bought three packs. They had like, I'm not even kidding, like 25 packs of just white. And you can do a lot with these. So I'll get two wears or two uses out of one pack and now you could cut these short, you could shape these. I was shocked. They're like three bucks at Dollar General and like five dollars at Walmart and a dollar twenty-five. So that is great. And my package from Sephora just came. So I thought we would open it together. I didn't get a lot. I got a couple blushes actually because I'm a blush fanatic, as you can tell. Um, so I thought we would open it together and then I'll fill my TikTok with it. Um It's so weird that people that deliver for Sephora, I'm sure it's a cut down on cost of deliver shipping, but it always comes by like that laser. Somebody, do you guys have that in your state where people can pick up packaging, like um, almost like a independent contractor kind of? I always feel like it would be like a really good gig because 
I'm somebody who enjoys being alone, so I think it would be fun to like go pick up my little um, packages in the morning and then just do my little route. I know some people might find it lonely, but I think I would enjoy it. So first, oh, I'm glad my I actually got my right samples this time. I went and got the Joe Malone Peony and Blush Suede. So it's floral. Top notes are red apple. Oh, heart. Um, the heart of it is peony. I think I like peony. And then the base is suede. Um, and try layering this with orange blossom for a fresher scent or wood, sage, and sea salt for a warmer scent. I'll smell that in a few minutes. And then I saw this. Now I know I always am like, I don't like vanilla. I don't like vanilla, but my daughter does. And my grandmother does. And most normal people like vanilla. And it's Skylar. Yeah, I have a, my uncle's niece who, my uncle's wife's niece is named Skyla. Skyla. But I love the name Skylar. It's one of my favorite names. I love it for a boy. Skylar for a boy is really cute. And this is just Vanilla Sky. And the notes are Cappuccino Pure Vanilla Caramelized Cedar. The bottle's pretty too. I'm on the hunt for a new perfume. Most of you know that I have only used Flower Bomb my whole life. Speaking of which, they had this for a 100 point perk and I always pick these up when they are. Um, but I'm noticing after using this for like eight years that I'm starting to get nose blind to it. So look how cute this little bottle is. So I'm trying to find something more that's suited for my taste so that maybe I can find something. So look at this. This was a promo. All these sample scents was a promo. We'll go through them in a minute. This was a promo if you spent like more than 70 bucks. So let's just get into this. I only bought four things. I desperately needed a face cream, like a real thick emollient moisturizer for the evening. I've been slugging lately. So I've been using Aquaphor. I don't, I guess I do most of my face. Mostly I do in here, my upper lip because I have hyperpigmentation and I feel like if I moisturize more, um, maybe it will cut down on the hyperpigmentation or at least keep that area moisturized so that um, I also grow a lot of upper lip hair and because of constantly waxing and exfoliating and then shaving and exfoliating, I notice that the pores there are very visible and um, the hair follicle is dark there. Not from shaving, I don't blame it on that. It's always been dark, but with a little bit of pigmentation from the sun, I always use, I try to always use 90 to 100% on my face and keep it protected by a hat, but sometimes it's inevitable. Um, so I need, so I've been slugging with Aquaphor twice a week under my eyes, my eyelids. I love it. I wake up with such a supple, um, nice it just looks beautiful this is sealed so i'm not going to open it yet but i tried the first aid beauty ultra repair cream i was going to get the keels but they were so much more expensive for it wasn't like as much for your buck so this came with six ounces it's a pretty decent size for a face cream because you only need uh such a small amount and of course the lid won't go on but that's not even fun but um i believe you can use this on anything, but I really like the ointment feeling of the um, Aquaphor. Then I found, they finally got this back in, the Too, Fla Too Faced Cloud Crush, 93% uh, natural origin. I don't know what that means, but they finally got the one in Candy Clouds in. I was waiting for the email and it finally emailed me like a month after I put my email in for it. I'm so excited. I don't wanna rip the packaging yet because I want to show my TikTok. You guys are not. First of all, the packaging. Oh my God. The packaging is so cute. And I'm not somebody who really loves like um, hearts and stuff. It's just not my thing. Oh my God. Look how stunning. Holy cow. Look at that. That's going to look. Oh, I thought I had a scent. The packaging alone is gorgeous. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Um, pricey for a blush, but I think I'm going to love it. So I will link that um, in my link tree for you guys. I'll do that later tonight. Then I wanted to do this palette. 
So this was on clearance. I don't know what I paid for this. Does it have the price on here? No, this was clearance. This is the Patrick Ta Major Highlight Blush and Highlight. Why did it say? No, Major Headline, sorry, Blush and Highlight. First of all, the packaging is going to be gorgeous. I just know it. Yep. Look how gorgeous this packaging is. It's like a rose gold, but it's... um. Not matte, but kind of like matte. Oh my God, I'm so excited for this. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. Look how beautiful. So you get a cream. Oh, I, they have a little, con, uh, not a container, but like a little lid. No scent. So you get uh, two cream blushes and a cream type like highlighter. I'm gonna have to play with it, I'm not sure. And then you get these beautiful colors on the bottom i thought the pink was a little more vibrant when i saw it online but that's okay so you get this gorgeous like muted pink it's pulling very very like bright on camera but it's not quite that bright it's like a medium pink and then you have this gorgeous orange like an orangey coral i don't know and this beautiful highlighter i don't want to dip into it yet but i will definitely be playing with this in some videos coming up gorgeous packaging um, this was not too pricey. I think that was like 26 bucks on clearance right now. Let me, I'll link that for you below. Yeah, and this is the last thing. So I've been looking at these and looking at these, these, the House of Lab brand from Lady Gaga. This one's in Sunstone, so it's a highlighter. You guys, I have not purchased a highlighter in so long. The last highlighter I bought was Cookie from Benefit, and that was like three years ago. And I just have always stuck to the highlighters that I like. I don't try new things. But I thought, you know what, it's time to try something. First of all, the packaging is stunning. Let me make sure, yeah, okay. I didn't wanna, I didn't know. For some reason, I thought it looked broke. The packaging is A+. plus. It's stunning. It's like this duochrome, off mother of pearl almost, off white. Look at this color, I'm gagging. Oh, that's gonna be gorgeous, look at that. Holy Moses, that is beautiful. I will definitely use these in an upcoming video if you want. Um, I'll go through really, really quickly because this vlog's already going to be like 30 minutes and it's only Monday. I had clips from the beginning of the week, but I might just um, trash those and just do a Monday vlog for you so that you're not watching me for hours because if I add those clips, they're just going to be too long. And the, by the time next week rolls around, they'll be totally irrelevant to my life. And I don't ever want to do that post old videos. I kind of want to stay relevant with you guys. So first one is Prada Candy. If you have worn any of these perfumes, let me know your opinion down below or let me know like um, some scents that you would recommend. I love patchouli. I love oriental and warm and musky. Um, I really love, there used to be this um, wax warmer called Turkish Market and it had mu a very uh, Turkish spicy scent. I don't know how to explain it. I would do anything to have that scent back. It was my favorite. It smelled like the Pirates of the Caribbean ride at Disney in the best way possible. And I want that scent in a bottle so bad. So the next one is Replica Coffee Break. I've smelled this before. It's not my favorite. Um, my Way by Giorgio Armani. I've never smelled that. This one's called Clean Reserve. I'm not going to go through all this scent, you guys, because we would be here forever. But that packaging is gorgeous. Then you got Libra from YSL. This is something I've been considering. I think it's Libra. Um, considering purchasing, I wore it the other day. I'm gonna wear it a couple more times before I commit because it is expensive, but it does smell incredible. Um, this one is clean. Oh, there are different scents. So this was Aqua Neroli. So I'm gonna assume it's gonna be an aquatic scent. And this one's sparkling sugar. So this is probably gonna be more of a gourmand. I do like aquatic scents every once in a while. I used to use the female version of Aqua de Jo, and now I can't stomach it. I can't stand Aqua de Jo on men or women. I just don't like it. Um, ooh, this is nice. Barn and Roma from Valentino, Donna Valentino. I love the yellow one, I think, or do I love the pink one? I don't know. That I'm glad to have because I can wear that and sample it. Then 
I'm pretty sure it's actually the pink one that I love. Is this the more spicier one, you guys? Or is that the yellow one? Oh, no. Yay. This is. It's the pink one. Okay. This is the one that I love. I always smell it, but I'm too afraid to commit to a full bottle. Because one time, the only perfume I have ever bought besides Flower Bomb, I bought um, Replica Beach Walk because I love it. And I had uh, Dolce & Gabbana. Go Dolce & Gabbana light blue and I love that but I never repurchased it. I actually gave half a bottle to my sister's best friend and I kind of regret it but it is what it is um, because I've come to love mixing it with Beach Walk. If you like Dolce & Gabbana light blue, mix it with Replica's Beach Walk. You will smell like summer in a bottle. It's like, like you bottled up summer. And one time I decided for some reason I thought um, I like Chanel number no. 5. I don't know what I was thinking. It does smell good in the bottle. Um, so I bought the Chanel number no. five LEA, LEU, whatever, like the lighter version, and I have never used it. It was an $80 perfume that just sits on my shelf, and I regret it because it makes me feel bad that it just sits there. I can't stand the smell. It is so overwhelmingly powdery, and it's definitely too mature for me. Um, not in like, a, if you wear it, um, I'm sure you smell incredible, but for me, it's just a little too mature. Then this one is Marc Jacob Perfect. I don't really love Marc Jacob scents. I do have one that my mom bought me that I never could get rid of because she bought it. Ooh, I would love to try this one. This is Love by Killian. Ooh, this one is uh, got orange blossom. A sweet, a scent as sweet as Turkish Delight. Maybe I'll love this one. Killian's very expensive and I love their apple brandy one. Then they gave me Flower Bomb, Flower, Flower Bomb Baby Orchid. I probably will love that. I do not like Bon Bon. It's too sweet. Ooh, another Joe Malone. And this one is English Pear and Freesia. Let's see. Let's see what the difference is. What one was this? Peony and Blush Suede. And this one has, the top notes are King William Pear. I don't know what the hell that is. The heart of it is freesia and the base of it's patchouli. Let me know. I know this is probably a weird thing, but do you guys want me to smell these on camera? I won't touch these today. I won't smell any of them. If you want me to, I will smell them tomorrow. You can leave this because this video will go up today. You can leave that in the comment for me comments if you want me to smell these on camera if you don't it's okay i don't have to make a dedicated video to that i promise you it's okay if you don't want me to um it's just an idea and last but not least they sent me the nars laguna something in laguna is this a chapstick oh my god don't tell me i'm getting that old that i can't read what the hell is this i think it's a lip balm Okay, hold on. Technical difficulties. Give me one second to open this. You guys, don't feel bad if you don't want me to smell this on camera. It's just maybe a fun video we could, like a bonus video for the week. Um, I think I'll try all these products out on camera. I just thought it would be super duper fun. Um, it's definitely like a lip balm, but... I don't know if I like that. It might be a little too dark for me. It's a little too bronze. Maybe in the summer it would be pretty. Okay, that's the end of today's vlog. Everything, I thought I would need the clips from earlier in the week, but I think I'm just going to scrap them. I think I have plenty for today. Um, mostly hauling stuff today. So I think I'm just going to call this a hauling video because I feel like that's all I did was haul a bunch of shit for you guys. Um, I'll link everything below that I'm able to, and I will link whatever I can't, if I, if I'm able to find a lot of this stuff, um, I'll put it in my link tree or I'll link it, um, individually. Uh, the stuff from Walmart's hard to link, you guys. I know some people, uh, get upset, but I just don't know really how to navigate the Walmart website. It's weird. But that's the end of today's video. I hope you subscribe and hope you stick around and subscribe and I'll see you guys Friday. Probably with the get ready with me with my new stuff. So I'll see you later. Bye guys.